Today we're going to be going over sighting in and setup of your CBE Tactic Hybrid. Included in your packaging is a rheostat light, your sight tapes, and two 1024 mounting screws to mount your sight to the riser. First, we're going to want to mount the sight to the riser of your bow. For this, you will need either an Allen pack or a 1 8 inch Allen wrench. You're going to want to mount the sight to the riser using the 1024 screws. CB Tactic Hybrid incorporates a CBE Smart Mount, which allows you to mount the sight to the riser in three different positions depending on the speed of your bow, also your peep height, draw length, and all around setup. Using the CBE Smart Mount, the closer to the shooter you mount the sight, the tighter your sight tape and pin gaps will be. If you move the sight out further, your sight tape will get longer and your pin gaps will be bigger. Once you have your sight mounted to your riser, you will need to adjust your windage accordingly. Windage is your right and left adjustment. If your arrow is impacting left, you want to move your sight left. If your arrow is impacting right, you want to move your sight right. When adjusting the windage on the CVE Tactic Hybrid, you are going to unlock your lock knob. If your arrow is impacting left, you will rotate the micro adjust knob clockwise. If you are impacting right, you will rotate the micro adjust lock knob counterclockwise. When shooting at further distances, you will not need to move your sight as much. When you're shooting at closer distances, you will need to adjust the sight more to accommodate for your arrow impact. Once you move the sight, you will need to lock the lock knob back down and proceed to test to see if your adjustment had worked. CBE Tactic Hybrid also features a gang adjustment for your elevation. Your elevation is your up and down. CBE Tactic Hybrid comes in a one and three pin configuration. When using the three pin, you are going to use your gang adjustment to adjust your bottom pin to 20 yards. If you are impacting high, you will move your sight housing up. If you are impacting low, you will move your sight housing down. Included in the packaging with your CBE Tactic Hybrid are your sight tapes. To use, to get your 20 and 60 yard mark, you use a pair of scissors and cut along the side of your sight tapes. This will give you a white strip to install on your sight. You will install this onto the hybrid drive wheel of your sight. Now that your blank sight tape is installed, you will make your mark for your 20 yards. Remember, you are using the bottom pin for the 20 yard mark. You will then unlock your hybrid drive and proceed to start walking back to 60 yards. Now that we have the 20 and 60 using your bottom pin, you will remove the, the sight tape with the marks and line it up with one of the sight tapes on those provided accordingly. The sight tapes have a series of numbers, 1 through 20. This is important. After you have your 60 yard mark set on your sight, do not move your sight. Once you have your designated sight tape installed on your hybrid drive wheel, if your indicator does not line up with your 60 yard mark, that is okay. Loosen the screw on top of the indicator and slide the indicator so it lines up with your 60 yard mark. If you're using a single pin sight, you are free to use the sight tape accordingly to test out your other ranges. If you're using the three pin configuration, you may now unlock your hybrid drive and move the sight to whatever range you want your home to be. If you're going to use a 20, 30, 40 yard configuration, you're going to want to unlock your hybrid drive and roll your sight to the 40 yard mark and lock your sight back down. For example, now that you have your 40 yard pin set, walk up to 20 yards and try your top pin. If your top pin is hitting high, you will move your pin up. If your top pin is hitting low, you will move your pin down. Now that you have your 20 yard set, repeat this process for your 30 yard pin. 